jostling for space. They're pushing against each other, grinding together, building up stress. And then, suddenly, the stress becomes too much. The rocks break or slip, and energy is released in the form of seismic waves. These waves then race through the earth, shaking and shattering everything in their path. But why do we care about these terrifying events, other than their obvious implications for human safety? Well, it turns out that earthquakes provide vital clues about the structure and behavior of our planet. They are the shaking evidence for the theory of plate tectonics, the grand unifying theory of Earth science that explains how our planet's surface changes over time. You see, the location and frequency of earthquakes around the world match up remarkably well with the boundaries of tectonic plates. The majority of earthquakes occur along these boundaries, where plates are either colliding, pulling apart, or sliding past each other. This pattern of seismic activity is one of the key pieces of evidence supporting the idea that the Earth's crust is made up of moving plates. Furthermore, the very nature of seismic waves, their speed, direction, and the way they change as they move through different types of rock, tell us a lot about the Earth's interior. They allow geologists to map out the structure of the planet beneath our feet, revealing the deep, hidden layers of the Earth. So the next time the ground beneath you starts to shake, remember this. Every tremor, every quake, is a signature of the Earth writing its geological history. Volcanoes with their fiery eruptions are one of nature's most spectacular displays of the Earth's inner workings. As if the Earth had a heartbeat, these explosive phenomena can be traced back to the planet's pulse, the movement of tectonic plates. Picture the Earth's crust as a jigsaw puzzle composed of various pieces or plates, constantly shifting and sliding. When these plates meet, they often engage in a slow motion dance of creation and destruction. In areas known as convergent boundaries, one plate dives beneath another, melting in the intense heat and pressure of the Earth's mantle. The molten rock, or magma, rises, ultimately breaking the surface and forming a volcano. Alternatively, at divergent boundaries where plates drift apart, magma seeps up to fill the gap. The cooling magma forms new crust and sometimes new volcanoes. This process, known as seafloor spreading, is responsible for the creation of the Atlantic Ocean and the continual widening of its basin. But the Earth's crust doesn't just break at plate boundaries. Underneath the lithosphere, there are hot spots, areas of intense heat that melt the overlying crust creating a path for magma to rise and form a volcano. This is how the Hawaiian Islands came to be, born from the Pacific Plate moving over a hotspot. Volcanoes are not just agents of destruction, but also architects of new landscapes. When the molten rock from a volcanic eruption cools and solidifies, it forms new land. Over time, these repeated eruptions can build up entire islands or mountain ranges. Even the fertile soils that sustain life owe their richness to the mineral-laden ash spewed out by volcanoes. Volcanoes, these fiery sculptors, remind us that our planet is alive and continually changing. They're the Earth's way of saying, I am growing, I am evolving, and I am alive. From the fiery depths, volcanoes forge new landscapes and alter old ones in a never-ending cycle of creation and destruction. Rocks may seem silent, but they are the Earth's storytellers, bearing witness to the passage of time and the forces that shaped them. Indeed, rocks are like pages in a vast, complex book, each one revealing a different chapter of Earth's past. Through the study of rock formations, we can piece together the geological history of our planet, uncovering the dynamic processes that have sculpted its surface over billions of years. Let's begin with igneous rocks. These are formed when molten rock, or magma, cools and solidifies. This can happen either beneath the Earth's crust, creating intrusive igneous rocks like granite, or on the surface, resulting in extrusive igneous rocks such as basalt. These rocks tell tales of volcanic eruptions and the fiery depths of our planet. Next, we have sedimentary rocks. Imagine a river carrying along tiny fragments of rock and soil. Over time, these sediments settle and accumulate, layer upon layer. Given enough time and pressure, these layers harden into sedimentary rocks like sandstone or shale. They provide a snapshot of the environment at the time they were formed, often preserving fossils that offer clues to past life on Earth. Finally, we encounter metamorphic rocks. These are the shapeshifters of the rock world. 
When other rocks are subjected to intense heat and pressure, they undergo a metamorphosis, transforming into new forms. Slate, marble, and gneiss nice are examples of metamorphic rocks. They narrate stories of mountain building and the immense forces at work deep within the earth. So as you can see, rocks are far from silent. They speak a language that, while ancient, is still understood by those willing to listen. They reveal the earth's fiery birth, the rise and fall of mountains, the flow of ancient rivers, and the life that once thrived in long vanished seas and forests. Each rock, each grain of sand, holds a story, a piece of the puzzle that is our Earth's fascinating geological history. Our journey into the Earth's structure and the dynamic processes that shape its surface has only just scratched the surface. We've delved into the mysteries of our planet, peering into its very heart to understand its structure. We've puzzled over the Earth's jigsaw, the plate plate tectonics, and how their movements shape our world. We felt the tremors of earthquakes, evidence of the dynamic nature of our planet. We've witnessed the explosive power of volcanoes, nature's sculptors, molding the Earth's surface. And we've read the tales told by rock formations, the Earth's storytellers, narrating the geological history of our planet. Yet there's so much more to explore, so much more to understand. The Earth doesn't stop. Its plates continue to move, causing earthquakes, triggering volcanic eruptions, and forming new rocks. The Earth's story is constantly being written, with every quake, every eruption, every rock formed. And it's a story.